Hi, and welcome to Jen's Crafts and Cakes. Today, with the weather being a little crazy here in the North Country, last night we had rain, and then freezing rain, and now it's snowing. I thought we would go ahead and make some cream puffs. The recipe was given to me and asked if I would make some. I haven't used this recipe, so I'm going to give it a shot. The first thing we need to do is set the oven at 425 degrees, which I have done. So let's go. So first you're gonna need a saucepan. And the first ingredient we're gonna use is a half a cup of water. Okay, and then we need a half a cup of whole milk. Half a cup of whole milk. We are going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of sugar. And we are going to add one stick of butter. Yeah, here I did it again. Left it in the wrapper. So I'll just take my knife. And add that right to it. And we're going to put it on medium heat just so it starts to boil. So we have the milk, the water, the butter, and the salt. Or I'm sorry, the sugar. As you can see, we, we haven't quite got the boil yet. And we're beginning to boil. Okay. So it says once it becomes a boil, you're gonna remove it from the heat and add one cup of flour. Then you're going to go ahead and mix it. And once it's all mixed together, this is what it looks like. Almost looks like mashed potatoes. So now it says to go ahead and put it back on the heat. Stirring constantly for one and a half minutes to two minutes. Supposedly, it's going to release extra moisture and partially cook the flour. Now it says once your time is up, the one and a half to two minutes, remove it from the heat and put it into a mixing bowl and give it a few minutes to go ahead and cool. Okay, now you're going to need four eggs, which I have in a bowl. And that's the reason they say to slightly cool the dough, because if you put the eggs in and the dough is too hot, you're going to make almost like a scrambled egg. And you really don't want that. So it says... Put one egg in at a time and beat. And go ahead and I'll take one of the eggs and put that in. And I will go ahead and beat. Okay, and go ahead and put the other egg in.
So I now have all four eggs in. And it says you want to go ahead and beat for an additional minute. So now that I have beat, beat it for an additional minute, okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this off. Just make sure you get all your dough off the beaters. Every little bit helps. Now it says to take a pan and you can put paper mache on it or like a wax paper, but I don't like doing that, so I grease mine. Okay. And now you, and it says you can use a piping bag and not many people have a piping bag. So I'm going to go ahead and use a spoon. I'll find out if it was a mistake or not. This is my first time doing the recipe. We all learn. I do have flour on it to help it not to stick. And it says you want it about one inch apart. You don't want any peaks, it says, if you do, if it sticks out. By itself, you want to push it down a little bit. Let's see how many we'll get out of this. It says piping, you should get 28. But I'm not sure with this way, with this spoon. Actually, what I was using is a scooper. So I did go ahead and grab a spoon because not everyone's going to have. So you, if you have a scooper, like a small ice cream scooper, they make different sizes. A lot of people are using them now for cookies to scoop out and drop. So I went ahead and made 18. I imagine then they're a little bigger than with the piping bags. We're going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. So now my timer's going off. It's been 10 minutes. The directions say we're going to go ahead and turn down the temperature to 325. Let's see. 325. And do not open the oven door. And we're going to let it cook for another 20 to 22 minutes. Okay. While that is cooking, I'm going to get, go ahead and get ready to make some cream. I'm going to go ahead and put the heavy cream into the freezer just to give it a little chill and get everything set up. Okay. So it said 20 to 22 minutes. I went ahead and set mine for 18 minutes. I did go ahead and check a little earlier after 11 minutes. And this is what they look like. So they are done. It's going to depend on your stove. So while we let these cool, I will go ahead and make the cream. For the cream, you're going to need... Two cups of heavy cream, chilled, four tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of powdered sugar. You can also use melted chocolate to dip it in, but I'm not going to do that one today. And it says here, if you choose, when you put the cream in, you can also put a raspberry in the center of it. So they started cooling down, and I took one, because like I said, I've never made this recipe before. I went ahead and cut. And as you can see, inside they're hollow. And this is where we'll put the cream. So let me go ahead and grab the cream, and we can make one. Okay, to make the cream, we're going to need 
two cups of heavy cream or a pint. I had mine in the freezer for a few minutes, so I went and pulled it out. So here is your heavy cream. With that, you're going to add four tablespoons of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to mix it on medium for about two minutes until we get stiff peaks. The cream is starting to set off, but it's not quite ready yet. It's starting to really take form. Okay, and there's your cream. Let's see, I'm going to try it. It's not overly sweet at all. The recipe also says to put this in a piping bag. Many don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and just scoop. And you can put more than that. If you probably put too much in when you go to eat it, I'm sure it'll go all over. So this, it's like a sandwich. Now we're going to go ahead and add some of the powdered sugar. And it says a tablespoon, but if you have 18 of them, there's no way a tablespoon is going to cover every one of them. So you just have to use according to what you want. This is how it looks. Um, for the recipe, I'm not very crazy about the fact that you have to leave in the oven without even seeing what it looks like after the 10 minutes. Um, and then waiting 20 to 22 minutes. I actually had to take them out after 11 minutes. I had start, started to smell them. I, I didn't want them to burn. So if you start smelling them, I would go and look and probably take them out. Um, I will try one of these after and put it in the comments as to how they were. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment and I'll be happy to help you. Hi, it's Jen with Jen's Crafts and Cakes again. So I did go ahead and change something in the cream puffs. You don't have to, but I added a little bit of strawberry jam. I wanted a little bit more flavor than what there was. So adding the strawberry to the cream for the cream puffs was awesome tasting. If you like strawberries, do the strawberry jam, try it. If not, if you like blueberry or grape, raspberry, give it a shot. It's got a great taste to it. Have a good day.